estamos aquí con la Misa Negra. Bueno, uno de los integrantes de la Misa Negra. Estás aquí en Navy Pier Latinx. Acabamos de terminar el sábado esta noche. ¿Cómo se siente? Bueno, nos sentimos muy bien. La respuesta de la gente fue increíble. Eh, nos regalaron mucha energía, así que nosotros siempre nos retroalimentamos de eso y para tocar con más ganas. Ahora, para que sepa la gente... ¿Qué es tu uh, rol en, en la Misa Negra? Yo soy Diana Trujillo y soy la vocalista de la Misa Negra. Vocalista, sí, y te vi, ¿eh? Estabas... <risa> está tocando, cantando, brincando, ¿cómo estás? Ah, bueno, digamos que es un don, debe ser un don. <risa> Muy bien, y aquí, ¿cómo te sientes tú? Uh, tired. <risa> <risa> tired, why are you tired? What could be so tiring about this? No, nah, es, uh, es nuestra primera vez en Chicago, uh, and it was amazing, man. And it's beautiful people, the weather's amazing, the scenery's amazing. Man, this is one for the books, for sure. I mean, this is the first year for Latinx here at Navy Pier. I mean, here in Chicago in general, but it was at Navy Pier. So you got to perform at Navy Pier on a Saturday night by the lake. I mean, how beautiful is that? How amazing? We're so happy that you could be here. So tell us, what do you think about Chicago so far? Wow, so far, I'm in love with Chicago. <laughs> Have you gotten a chance to explore? Um, no, yo creo que hemos visto, eh, lo poco que hemos visto de la ciudad ha sido cuando hemos entrado a Chicago. Eh, but just looking at the people and looking at the scene and looking at the ocean and, and everything is just too perfect. ¿Llegaron hoy? Llegamos hoy, sí. Three hours ago. Three hours ago. Wow. No, okay. In that case, it's okay. You're tired. I accept. <laughs> <laughs> this is all. all right. So tell me a little bit about La Mesa Negra. What is it you do? Because, I mean, I was watching you perform and I'm like, okay, this gives me like rock, like metal, hardcore, like vibes. But the music is not necessarily that, you know, it's like with the cumbia style. So like, tell me how that came about. Well, we play uh, Afro-Colombian music. And our inspiration is the uh, cumbia and the music from the um, from the 50s from Colombia. Uh, and so from there it comes the inspiration for Marco to write the music. And 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 then we put all the energy and he has the, the metal influence and and I have the Colombian moves and, and a little bit of rock. And so that you fusion that and yeah, it's done nuestra música. <laughs> so you compose it or? Yeah, I write the, mu I write the music, Diana writes the lyrics. Uh, but La Misa Negra is pretty much what happens when the metalhead starts a cumbia band uh, <laughs> who grew up listening to cumbia his whole life, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, uh, I, I just love, you know, I, it, it was the soundtrack growing up. Like, the first thing I can remember as far as music was cumbia, Santana, um, and, then, and Kiss, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's, yeah, 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 yeah. So then how did you two meet? Uh-oh, through social media, <laughs> through Facebook. So I, I got a message on my Facebook, uh, I got an invitation um, to, to well, you audition. Gotta you gotta rewind a little bit. <laughs> okay. We, we, heard, we heard that there was a salsa singer from Colombia, that there was a Colombian singer singing with salsa bands in San Francisco, and we're like, we gotta track her down, and so we, we found her on Facebook. We told her, yo, you know, I got this band, this you know, Colombian music. She's the fifth singer that we have in the band, but that's like within the first 12 months from from when I started the band. You know, like the camera went quick, right. um, and we had like a Chicana singer, a couple of Chicana singers, and not Mexican, right? But the, the 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 music is is very much Colombian, and I wanted that voice. You know, there's a difference when the Chicana sings in Spanish, and like a legit Colombian. So like when I found oh, there's a Colombian singer, in, <laughs> like, and so so I hit her up, and she came, and she just had that Colombian like you know, you know way of talking and stuff, and I'm like yo like you're, you're, I want you in the band. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They, they give me four songs to learn. And then I think I sang like a, a half of a song. And they were like, well, now is your choice if you want to be part of the band. And, and then it was crazy because that was on like, what, was like Tuesday. when Tuesday night? That, that was like a, a Tuesday it was night like a Tuesday. We, did, we had four shows in LA that weekend and we didn't have a singer. So, so then what? You just learned down the music and performed it or what? Eight songs in two days, I learned. Like 12 songs. Yeah, like 12 songs in, in two days. I learned, yeah, I was 
all day long listening to the tracks all day long. <laughs> you have to be like really wanting to be a part of this. I mean, to put all that effort and all that time and the little bit of time. You know, it comes to the, because I'm, I'm really passionate about music and I really like that project. I saw something that I was, I can be able to create. And then along with Marco, we, we're being very successful creating the music, the songs. And so for me, it was an easy decision. And I was like, yes, I'm down. Let's go. And I was like, maybe I'm going to mess up a little bit because I don't know 100% the lyrics, but I know the melodies and I know how the song goes. And so he surprised me because it's one of the stages were huge and I was freaked out. I was super nervous because yeah. I... I was nervous about the lyrics. I'm like, I don't know the lyrics 100%. And he was like, here, I have something for you. He taped all the lyrics on the whole stage in big, big letters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're just like, uh, ah. I was like looking down, memorizing little by little, remembering, and then performing. And yeah, and it was, it was amazing. <laughs> like, and, and that was uh, the other Los Muertos festival for even, there were like 3,000 people. You know, a lot of people. <laughs> but that's so nice of you. You were like thinking about it. You're like, okay, I guess this is a lot of pressure, so I'm just gonna help her out for a little bit. <laughs> Social media, where can we find you and your music? Uh, Lamisonegra.com, at Lamisonegra, and you know, Instagram and everything, and Facebook.com/slash Lamisonegra. Even the name Lamisonegra is like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go there. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Pretty much. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. So happy that you could visit to Chicago and have an interview with us. You are watching at Juan Media. I'm Decima. This is La Misa Negra. Oh, and lastly, whoa, I'm sorry. I always forget. We got it. You got to give me your best ahua that oh, you can. Okay, okay, okay. A las tres. Ready? Ready. Los dos. Oh, oh, yeah. He doesn't know. Colombian. Ahua, <laughs> Colombian. Una, dos, tres. Ah! That was good. I like that one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mwah.